guys, what is up? It is Austin here bringing you guys another video and today we're going to be talking about Modern Warfare 2 again but unlike yesterday's video we're actually going to deep dive into Modern Warfare 2 a little bit more because in yesterday's video I really only wanted to talk about skill based matchmaking because it was kind of a hot topic but since I released that video they actually released a small little trailer for Modern Warfare 2 and they've given us a release date. So October 25th we are getting Modern Warfare 2 and apparently this game is coming out on the next gen consoles and current gen or last gen consoles rather so we're getting it on xbox one xbox series x ps5 ps4 pc all that good stuff so this actually is interesting to me because i thought at this point call of duty would be done releasing you know titles for the xbox one and ps4 but it's interesting to me because vanguard is one of those games that actually doesn't run horribly on the last gen consoles but it doesn't run great you know cold war is kind of the similar way modern warfare 2019 i actually thought ran really well on both that's just my opinion i don't know how anyone else sees it but you know i thought they'd be done by now because we remember the absolute travesty that was black ops 3 on last gen it was absolutely horrible playing that game on the 360 but i guess you know the the most recent last gen consoles have a lot more power to them but you know it's just interesting to me that they actually decided to do that. Now, I plan on getting on Xbox Series X when it comes out because by then I'll have my Xbox Series X. Hopefully, that's the goal. But uh, if not, then I'll probably get it on Xbox One. Obviously, we know beta comes on PlayStation first. It's been like that for years. There's no use complaining about it because that's just the way it is at this point. It's been like that for almost 10 years now, which is kind of crazy to think about. But... Um, we got that. We got the release date. We got some character reveals, you know. But everyone we thought was in the game is going to be in the game, except they do have a new character that's coming in. Um, and aside from that, they haven't really shown off too much about the game. All we can really go off of are the leaks and the rumors. So current leaks suggest that there will actually be some remasters with the game, but they won't come on launch, similar to Modern Warfare 2019. Now, that can really make or break the game for me on launch because if you guys remember my, one of my biggest issues with modern warfare 2019 was the maps they were absolutely horrible all the new maps they made were pretty bad i think the only ones i liked were like cheshire park which was a dlc map and i think there was one other map or two that they have released afterwards that i liked i did like hackney yard on launch but that was like the only map that and gunrunner were actually pretty okay but everything else oh my god Anea palace and some of those other maps were just absolutely awful Awful. And if you guys remember, maps like Aenea Palace were in 6v6 rotations on launch. Doesn't make any sense to me, but, you know, this could make or break launch for me. You know, if the maps are just absolutely horrible, then we're screwed. Because the map design philosophy for Modern Warfare 2019, I'm really hoping that it doesn't show back up in Modern Warfare 2. But if it does, man, that's... um. That's pretty bad, in my opinion. Other leaks suggest that Pro Perks are coming back. Don't have much to say about that, you know. I don't mind Pro Perks coming back. I thought Pro Perks were really cool back in the day. It was really interesting. I mean, I remember I used to always run Slide of Hand Pro. You know, um, I remember in Modern Warfare 3, Pro Perks were pretty broken, but they were really fun. I think there was like Recon Pro, where if you stun people, they'd pop up on the mini-map as if it was an advanced UAV. So if you played one of those really small face-off maps, man, you could just stun across the map in S&D and just instantly know where everyone is. So Pro Perks can be really fun. I'm just curious how the challenges are going to be for them, because the game I remember that had absolutely stupid challenges to get Pro Perks was Black Ops 1. Now, you guys know me, I love Black Ops 1, but I remember... Some of the pro perks are just stupid, like Ghost Pro, I think you had to destroy sentry guns or whatever, like, no one ran sentry guns anymore in Black Ops 1 by the time that everyone, or at least I was going for the pro perks after it was out of its prime, so, you know, I just, pro perks can be really cool, but I really hope they don't make some absolutely stupid challenges with them, but, you know, the leaks for the game aren't horrible so far they do scare me you know having remastered maps coming back is a good thing but i think we should get like one or two on launch i know we were teased that we were gonna get afghan apparently in these leaks and afghan you know i i really like afghan um i'm surprised invasion wasn't referenced with all of it we did hear about terminal which you know terminal is a fan favorite it's a staple i'm not surprised that they're talking about that coming back i think last time i actually saw terminal was in infinite warfare which it's kind of crazy, you know, but uh, Terminal is an amazing map, so if that is indeed coming back, could we get that on launch maybe? Just give us just Terminal and then a Terminal 24-7 playlist, so if we have really shitty maps, we can at least go to Terminal. That would be the ideal situation, in my opinion, is if we had 
just one remaster on launch. Like, I think that'd be smart for the developers because if they release all these maps and nobody likes them, then people are just going to stop playing the game, you know? But if they have a 24-7 playlist for a classic map, not only can they avoid a lot of hate coming towards them on Twitter, but they could also just give us something that we want, a map that they know the community likes. But, yeah, that's pretty much it that I wanted to talk about. You know, there's not many leaks that I wanted to really go into, but those were the big ones, the maps and the pro perks, in my opinion. Those are the, probably the most important ones. But uh, if you guys enjoyed, please share, like, comment, and subscribe to help me on that road to 650 subscribers. I've been trying to upload a lot more often. I've been uploading daily, actually, recently, which is kind of crazy to me. But, uh, yeah, anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, this is Austin, and I'm out. Peace, guys.